Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Hsu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video, available at laurashu.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the new dehaze feature for removing haze from photos or adding haze, as well as the new local black and white controls available in the graduated filter, the radial filter, and the adjustment brush. Now these are available only in Lightroom CC for subscribers as of June 2015, so it's not available in the standalone version of Lightroom 6. For Lightroom 6, Adobe is only releasing bug fixes, new camera support, and new lens profiles, but not new features. So let's get started. The dehaze feature is available in the develop module down in the effects panel. So I'll scroll all the way down and click on the word effects to open the panel. I'll then scroll down a little bit more to the dehaze slider. Now dehaze will calculate the haze color that's constant throughout the photo and remove it as you slide the slider to the right. So in this photo it works quite well. After applying dehaze, I would go up to the basic panel and do any other tonal work. I'd like to shift the white balance of the photo a little bit away from yellow towards blue. Now when you use dehaze, it takes into consideration the white balance you have set at that time. So when you change the white balance afterwards, as I've just done, technically it recalculates the dehaze solution. I don't think, however, you'll notice any difference. If you do, you might want to make your white balance decision before you apply dehaze. Now with some photos, removing the haze will overly saturate the photo. So simply use the saturation slider or the vibrant slider here in the basic panel to reduce it. Let me scroll back down to the dehaze slider just to show you that you can also go in the opposite direction to add haze to a photo. I'll hit Ctrl or Command Z to undo that. Next, I want to go to a second photo to show you a couple issues that can arise. I'm going to scroll down to the effects panel and you'll see that dehaze is grayed out. The first time this happened to me, it drove me crazy. What's going on is that this is a photo that I haven't touched since Lightroom 3. Beginning with Lightroom 4, we got what's called a new process version. This particular photo is still using the old process version, so I can't access dehaze, and I'm still seeing the old Lightroom 3 sliders. To get to the new process version, I'll click on the lightning bolt here and say update and then if I scroll down you'll see that I have access to dehaze. Now when I go to remove the haze on this photo I have a couple issues. First of course I see all of the sensor dust because I didn't clean my sensor before I photographed that day but I also start to see blotchiness in the color and if I zoom in you'll see that I see a lot of noise as well. So this simply means that dehaze has its limits. If you see noise or blotchiness in the color, or if it reintroduces lens vignetting or darkening of the corners, then simply back off on the amount of dehaze. Next, I want to show you quickly that I've found that dehaze can be a great quick way to pump up my reflection shots. There wasn't haze on this day. Instead, there's simply a lack of contrast here. So with one slider, I can punch this up pretty well. And of course, I can go to the basic panel to do more work, for example, to get more contrast in this area. Now, I can punch it up using the basic panel alone and without dehaze, but it's a nice quick trick. So I would encourage you to play around with this feature. Finally, I'll go to this photo in which we have a local haze issue. It's not affecting the foreground here. I can use the dehaze slider, but because it affects the entire photo, it adds too much contrast into the bushes here. They become too dark and too heavy. I'll double click on the word amount to reset that. Instead, I'll turn to local tools. We've got the graduated filter, the radial filter, and the adjustment brush. Now we don't have a dehaze slider in these tools, so we can't use dehaze locally. So we have to turn to other local sliders. This gives me an opportunity to show you that these tools now have whites and black sliders. So we can adjust whites and blacks locally now in just particular parts of photos. 
so whites would affect only the very brightest tones in your photo, just the right edge of your histogram here. Blacks would affect just the very darkest tones in your photo. I'm going to double click on the word effect here in the adjustment brush to make sure all of my sliders are at zero and then I will darken just the darkest tones in the photo. I'll click and drag to paint and you see that this becomes an effective way in the cliffs here to pop them out of the fog. Now depending on your photo you may find that adding some clarity, possibly some contrast, and brightening the brightest tones might add value to your solution. It really will be photo dependent. My goal in going into this really was just to show you the new whites and blacks controls. So those are the two new features in Lightroom CC 2015.1, dehaze and local whites and blacks. If you've enjoyed this video, check out my blog at laurashu.com. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Laura Shue.